Welcome back to the top apps of June 2017. This month is a special one as I have teamed up with Zachary Anderson, aka EasyTech231, and together we have brought you a list of 10 apps that you are sure to enjoy. Also, make sure to click that eye in the right corner to watch his top apps of the month segment as we did the same thing on his channel. And quick side note, we're both giving away 10 promo codes to two apps of our choosing, so you may want to watch both videos entirely. Anyways, let's jump right in. The wallpaper for this month is an application called Frame and it's filled with plenty of stunning wallpapers from Unsplash.com. A lot of these pictures are in high resolution which you can download and set as your wallpaper for free. You can search for a specific genre, set some as your favorite, tap on the owner's name to go to their profile page, and even come back daily for a newly featured wallpaper. Alright, so the first app on deck is Bebomb. This is a great app for those of you that want to stay up to date on the latest and greatest in the tech world. Get quick access to what's trending from up top. Swipe in from the left hand side to view different categories ranging from mobile operating systems, gaming, wearables, and more. You can bookmark different posts and articles to better keep track of them and save them for later. And there's also a section with exclusive videos where you can find some neat tips and tricks, reviews, and tutorials. You can also create a profile so you can customize what exactly you'd like to see in your feed. The app's user interface is clean with no ads, it's lightweight, and it's very easy to navigate. Try it out. If you're always on the lookout for discounted apps on the Play Store, you should check out App Sells. If you didn't already know, app developers have the option of making their paid app become discounted or even free for a short amount of time, and App Sells keeps track of most apps that go on sale in the Google Play Store. For example, just recently, Simple for Facebook Pro and Runtastic Push-Ups Workout Pro were made available to download for free, and I would have never known about these huge discounts if it wasn't for this app. Not only that, but you can also see the price history, filter the list of sales by category, any description of every app. I'll be giving away 10 promo codes to obtain the premium version, which costs $1.99. This unlocks features such as a watch list to keep track and get notified when your favorite apps go on sale, an extended price tracking system, and so much more. To get a chance at winning a promo code, just like this video and follow me on Twitter or Instagram at HowToMen. I'll be announcing the winners on both of those platforms a few days from now. Next up, we've got Infact. This app aims to cram your brain with some cool facts you probably didn't know about in a quick and simple fashion. Each fact is accompanied by its own background. You can like, bookmark, and share facts you'd like to keep track of. You can also flag facts if you feel the need to do so. If you'd like to know more about a certain fact, you can get a shortcut to a wiki page or an article online where you can learn more. And if you'd like to check out facts of a specific type, you've got 47 different categories to choose from. So if you're totally bored or if you really want to learn something new, then give this app a shot. Wandle is the next app that automatically enables do not disturb mode when you're at a certain place or time frame. It's perfect for when you forget to silence your phone while you're at the movies, library, class, or even at night. It's really simple to use. Just add a location by circling a spot on Google Maps within the app. Set the amount of hours or minutes you would like DND mode to be enabled while being at that location. Add exceptions to who or what can override your silenced phone and even create automatic message replies to people who are trying to call you. If you're worried about battery drainage, you shouldn't be, as Wandle doesn't require a continuous internet connection to find out where you are. You can also do this with set schedules as well. In the end, this is like Do Not Disturb Mode 2.0 with features that you won't find anywhere else. Next app on hand is Aerial Live Wallpaper. This app provides you with some pretty dope drone shots taken from different places across the world. You've got New York City, LA, Hong Kong, Dubai, Hawaii, and more. The shots are nice and smooth, and you're now given the ability to slow down the clips or speed them up if you wish. There are quite a few wallpapers to choose from in the app, so if you're looking to bring your home screen to life, then check out Aerial Live Wallpaper. I honestly feel like this is something Google would do. If you have a tough time staying away from time-consuming apps, then you should use Zenlock. This app lets you choose an addicting app such as Instagram and then allows you to choose a set amount of time before opening the app to remind you that your time is valuable. Then it will give you an X amount of minutes to use the app normally. Once the timer is up, the same countdown message will appear when you open the addicting app again. It's not meant to lock you out of any app, but let you know how much time you're wasting. If you're someone who's easily distracted while doing something important, Download and Gross. This app aims to help you, yeah you guessed it, better focus on the task at hand. So you start off by setting a timer for how long you'll be working on your task, then whenever you get distracted, hit the button in the middle. The main objective here is to end your work session with the least amount of taps on this middle button as possible, so the lower your score, the better. And the more you do this, the better you should want to do the next time moving forward by getting lower and lower scores. You can set specific times for breaks, so that's good. 
and you can even set the app to turn off Wi-Fi while you're working. So if you find yourself daydreaming or wanting to check your phone, or pretty much anything that'll take your focus off your task, then I'd say this is easily worth a download. It's a great way to challenge yourself. For those of you who love experimenting with new launchers, Flick Launcher is now another choice. It's still in alpha, so expect plenty of bugs, but it's open source and inspired by the Pixel Launcher, bringing in some sweet features that we all know and love. You have app shortcuts, notification dots, support for custom icon packs, a custom search widget like the one found on the Pixel, the ability to lock apps with a fingerprint, swipe up gesture to get into the app drawer, and so much more. There's still a lot that needs to be done and you'll definitely notice the issues right away. I wouldn't use it over Nova Launcher or even the Pixel Launcher for that matter, but on the bright side it does get updated quite frequently and once it gets rid of all these bugs, this wouldn't be a bad alternative. Alright, so second to last we've got Text Converter. It's pretty self-explanatory. With this app you can convert text into a number of different formats whether it be Morse code, binary, hex, you can flip the text upside down, you can write it backwards, and more. You can also choose from a number of different text styles, you've got different effects, and if you want to go the extra mile when you're messaging someone, why not decorate your text too? Each style and effect has a copy and share button as well to help you quickly show off to your friends just how cool you can now make your words look. This is a pretty neat app to mess around with, and it just adds more ways to communicate what you'd like to say. Try it out. This last app is for those who love listening to the radio and want a free alternative media player to Pandora or TuneIn Radio. It's called Radio Players by Audios and it has over 80,000 radio stations that you can choose to listen to. It has every music genre, hundreds of channels from different countries, and when you're in a station you can see the previously played tracks. You can even record whole songs while they are playing live to listen to them later and an option called Alarm Clock to have audios wake you up in the morning with your favorite radio stations. Not only that, but you can listen to over 100,000 podcasts ranging from technology, games, comedy, sports, movies, and more. If you don't like either of those options, then you can just listen to your own music found on your phone. There are tons of different features that I left out, but this is the ultimate internet radio app that is completely free with no in-app purchases. Well, that's it for the top apps of June 2017. Big thanks to Zach for coming on this episode and showing us his favorite apps of the month. Once again, if you want to see more great apps, make sure to head on over to his channel and get subscribed. If you have any suggestions for what app or game I should include in the next segment, please let me know down below. Make sure to follow me on Twitter or Instagram to get a chance at winning a promo code for app sales. I'll see you guys in the next one. Kapow!